Hi, I'm Robert DeMeff, a physician with Texas Orthopedic Associates in Dallas, Texas. And I want to talk today about use of hyaluronic acid in orthopedic medicine. Now, hyaluronic acid is simply uh, a disaccharide. It's a sugar molecule. It's available everywhere in the body, and it has lots of different uses. It's used in plastic surgery as a filler for faces, but in the musculoskeletal world, we use hyaluronic acid to treat osteoarthritis. In addition to osteoarthritis, hyaluronic acid can also be used to treat tendon problems, although it's not very well studied. So in focusing on osteoarthritis, um, we obviously know there's lots of causes for osteoarthritis. We all get it as we get older. The cartilage gradually starts to wear out because of age, trauma, previous surgery, genetics, uh, activities that people do. Uh, different disease states, smoking, obesity, the kind of work they do. There's lots of risk factors for osteoarthritis. Now, the, um, in terms of treating osteoarthritis, uh, we very much individualize treatment. There's lots of things that are out there that treat osteoarthritis, depending on where the arthritis is affecting the individual. It's common in hips and knees, but also affects big toes and ankles and shoulders and elbows and um, spine, the hands, so on and so forth. But when we look at how we treat osteoarthritis, our primary goal is to help with pain control. Secondary goals, however, are to potentially try to delay the progression of arthritis, no matter where it may be located. And that's where it's very difficult, because we don't have a lot of treatments that, that absolutely delay the progression of osteoarthritis. Now, what do we do for treatment? There's a whole host of things that we do for osteoarthritis treatment in, in terms of, uh, depending on what the disorder is or what's affected, uh, physical therapy can be helpful, um, making sure you warm up well, cold packs, there's different types of braces that can be used depending on the body part involved. Um, using physical therapy modalities such as uh, ultrasound and electrical stimulation and cold laser and all these sort of things can be uh, beneficial. Generally we try to have people modify the activity so that they're not abusing the joint that's involved. Sometimes that includes um, cross-training with things like Nordic track and elliptical for lower extremity arthritis, uh, water aerobics. Um, we have medications that help with pain but don't really help delay the progression of arthritis, but people use anti-inflammatory medicines such as ibuprofen, uh, naproxen, celecoxib, and others to try to help with pain, but they don't change the disease state. There's a lot of supplements that can be used to treat arthritis, things like glucosamine chondroitin, cherry juice extract, ASUs or avocado soybean unsaponifiables, turmeric, tart cherry juice extract. There's a whole host of natural anti-inflammatory supplements that can help. And that leads us to um, other anti-inflammatory agents or injection types of therapies. Now we have lots of things that we can inject for osteoarthritis. Some are um, only indicated for certain conditions. But cortisone injections can give people temporary relief. But we talk about growth factor injections such as PRP, stem cell injections, um, and uh, hyaluronic acid injections. And so I want to spend the next few minutes just talking about hyaluronic acid in terms of how it works from a musculoskeletal standpoint. So first of all, hyaluronic acid uh, has properties of lubricating the joint and decreasing the friction within the joint. It also is important for maintaining the water health within the joint. So um, it's a structural molecule that um, provides stability to the joint as well, and it uh, combines with other chemicals to, uh, to give the joint its, um, its healthy actions. It also blocks nerve fibers from being stimulated, so there's an analgesic effect of hyaluronic acid. And finally, it truly is an anti-inflammatory compound. When we look at work in the lab, it actually blocks the production of inflammatory compounds, and it actually increases the activity of anti-inflammatory type of compounds. So it has more effects than just simply being a joint lubricant, but rather it actually can metabolically change how the cells uh, function. Now if we look at that, what would, be the, what would be the potential mechanisms of action? Why hyaluronic acid injections may be beneficial? Now I must say that in the United States, hyaluronic acid injections are only approved for knee osteoarthritis. But that doesn't preclude us from injecting hyaluronic acid in any joint that's arthritic. And in other countries, that's where uh, hyaluronic acid plays a role. They don't inject just the knees, they also inject other arthritic joints. Um, the, um, in terms of the potential mechanisms, um, it does combine with other chemicals within the joint to help um, uh, stabilize the joint surface. 
It does act as an elastic and a viscous supplement in the joint to decrease the stress across the joint and allow for smoother movement. It does combine with CD44 receptors, which are important receptors to upregulate metabolism of cells so that they actually make more receptors and more of the normal joint proteoglycans, collagen, and other uh, molecules. It blocks inflammation of IL-1 and metalloproteinases, which are other things that cause pain and inflammation and joint destruction. It's anti-nociceptive, meaning that it blocks some of the pain-producing compounds and actually entraps them so that they cannot stimulate the nerves. And actually, it will coat the end of the nerve fiber so that even if those pain-generating compounds are around, they don't stimulate the nerves. The, um, in terms of the sources of hyaluronic acid injections in the United States for treating osteoarthritis, there's a few different things that we look at in terms of how they're produced. First of all is the actual molecular weight or the size. Um, the larger the molecule, the more effective it seems to be. We look at the structure, whether it's straight chain, which is the way hyaluronic acid normally is, or if it's cross-linked. And the cross-linking tends to let the molecule have more uh, residual time within the joint. And then finally, how it's manufactured. Some of these are manufactured from rooster combs, and some of them are manufactured by bacterial fermentation. Those that are manufactured by bacterial fermentation tend to be purer, and there's not as many contaminants in those products. Um, there are at least 14 different compounds available in the United States, and they vary depending on how they're produced, their size, and whether they're cross-linked or not. But if we look at the data on hyaluronic acid injections for treating osteoarthritis, and most of this is an osteoarthritis of the knee, there is definite controversy. There are some organizations that feel that the hyaluronic acid is not beneficial, whereas others feel it is beneficial. In general, early osteoarthritis tends to respond better than uh, delayed or late osteoarthritis. The benefits oftentimes will last for six months or longer, and that's been shown in multiple studies. It does appear when you divide them up into large, small, and medium-sized molecules that the larger molecules provide better relief. It also appears from recent research uh, analyses that the single injections do not tend to be as effective as the combined series that might be two, three, or four injections. Five injections did not seem to be as effective as two, three, or four, so there's something about repeated injections that allow individuals to have a better response. The, um, it's safe to repeat these injections, especially those from bacterial fermentation because there's very little contaminants in those, and there's also evidence that suggests that repeat injection series can delay total knee replacement. So while there's controversy um, in the use of uh, hyaluronic acid for knee osteoarthritis, most of us practicing do feel that these are beneficial. Um, again, it's only approved in the United States for knees, but we inject any arthritic joint with hyaluronic acid because, again, it's a very safe molecule, um, and so we can put it in hands and hips and ankles and big toes and other joints off-label. So that's a brief summary of hyaluronic acid, how it's used to treat osteoarthritis, as well as a brief overview of arthritis and arthritis treatment. For more information, you can check on some of the links at the end of this video. Thank you.